All right, we're gonna go ahead in and start processing payroll. Now, the first thing that you probably wanna do is you wanna set up your payroll schedule. Okay, so I have one semi-monthly set up here, but you can set up several different payroll schedules if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a weekly one. Okay, how often? Weekly. What is the pay period end date? On the Sunday. What date should appear on the paycheck for this pay period? So if it ends on the 23rd, say it's dated this day, and I can say okay. Now let's just pretend like it's bi-weekly, or I'm sorry, semi-monthly, because I want to show you how it changes. Notice now that it's semi-monthly, it's saying we do the paycheck on the 15th for the pay period ending the last day of the month. Second pay payment is on the last day of the month for the pay period ending on the 15th. Then my next paycheck date is the 31st for the 15th. So telling it all this information here allows it to pick up what your payroll schedule should be. Okay, But I already set up that semi-monthly here. Now the other thing that you have to do, of course, is in the individual employees, you need to tell the system what payroll schedule they're on. So if you double click on the employee, choose the drop down to go to payroll and compensation information, and then we can choose which payroll schedule they're set up on. If I don't do that, then when I go to process my scheduled payroll, the employee will not show up there. Okay. All right, so let's go into payroll and say uh, resume schedule payroll, restart schedule payroll. All right, so Jamie James, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the paycheck detail here and we're going to say that she has a bonus, okay, so $2,500 for a certain class, for a certain service item, we can say for labor, she did extra labor for some reason. Okay, pulls out her 401k because that's what we have automatically set up. We can add additional items if we want to set those up as well. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and say save and next. Okay, now it pulls up automatically as salary. Notice we can change it if we want to. Any wage garnishment that we have automatically set up for this person, and we can say save and close. Okay, so it picks up all the information for us here. I can say continue. Uh, notice that it only shows me certain, certain columns. I can decide which columns to show if I need to show more columns. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. Okay, so it's going to give me a breakout of what the payroll should be. I can then choose to print paychecks out of QuickBooks, or I can assign check numbers for handwritten checks, and then I go ahead and create the paychecks. Now what that's going to do is it's actually going to set up my liabilities automatically for me, set up the payments so that when I look at my employee center here, it shows me which payments I need to pay. Okay, uh, It's also going to go ahead and put those, if I mark it to be printed, it's going to put those paychecks in bank account A uh, as to be printed. All right, so that's how you go ahead and create a payroll check.